Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. As part of a busy week in eastern Kentucky, Congressman Hal Rogers made several stops in McGoffin, Floyd, and Johnson counties today, including a stop here at the Big Sandy Area Development District offices in Prestonsburg. During a stop at the Big Sandy Ad offices Monday, Congressman Hal Rogers told officials from across the region that he is happy with several projects that are underway across eastern Kentucky. Also help secure another $25 million for uh, Kentucky's pilot program for abandoned mine lands, uh, helping our local communities repurpose land uh, to create jobs and recruit new industries and ramp up our tourism. One project that Rogers is not happy with, however, is the Mountain Parkway expansion project. Rogers said the project needs to progress faster. Uh, I'm really teed off that it's going so slow. John. I don't know why it's taken so long to get that project done. Uh, it's so vital to the betterment of the whole region. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a main fork in the road. So we're going to try to pressure the state to go ahead and get that job done. Rogers said it's refreshing, though, to talk about progress in eastern Kentucky, something he hasn't been able to do much over the past several years. I'm thankful the war on coal uh, has abated. That's the good news. bad news is it left us devastated. So the war on coal is, uh, is real. It's exciting now to see the bubbling up of ideas from everyone about what our region can do and the hope that we see out there. So uh, all of a sudden now, the momentum has shifted from bad to good. Rogers also discussed actions taken by lawmakers in Washington, including increases in military funding and this year's federal tax reform. The congressman will wrap up his trip Wednesday in Rowling County. In Prestonsburg, Chris Anderson. EKB News.